We'll now look at graph isomorphisms. So we say two graphs are isomorphic. There is a one-to-one -one and onto function from the vertices of G1 to the vertices of G2 with the property that A and B are adjacent if and only if F of A and F of B are adjacent. So this is a map from one graph to another where it preserves edges. So just because an edge goes between two vertices in the first graph, it should also be mapped to an edge in the second graph. And basically what happens is we can draw graphs in multiple different ways. And so this is going to allow us to see that two graphs are actually really the same. So for example here, we have the pentagon and the star. And these graphs are actually isomorphic. And here's the map. I'm going to start by mapping 1 to A. And then I can follow my edges. 1 is adjacent to 2, and A is adjacent to C. So I'll map 2 to C. 2 is adjacent to 3, C is adjacent to E. So now we'll map E and 3 to each other. 3 maps to, or 3 is adjacent to 4, and E is adjacent to B. So I'll do map F of 4 to F of B. And then my very last one, B is adjacent to D. 4 is adjacent to 5. So I'll map F of 5 to D. And then this last edge, we can just double check. 5 is also adjacent to 1, and D is also adjacent to A. So everything lines up. So we say a property preserved by isomorphisms is a graph invariant, and this can help us decide whether or not two graphs might be isomorphic. For example, number of vertices and number of edges are graph invariants. If my number of vertices differs, or the number of edges differs between one graph and another, they are definitely not isomorphic. In addition, the degrees of vertices must be the same. So if the degrees of vertices in the first graph is different than the degrees of the vertices in the second graph, they are definitely not isomorphic. For example, here I have two different graphs. And I see that this vertex here has degree 3, and this vertex here has degree 3. However, in the right graph, A is the only vertex with degree 3. So these cannot be isomorphic. In addition, I'll notice that in the right graph I have a vertex of degree 1, and I don't have that in the left graph. So that's another reason to say they are not isomorphic. Here I changed it slightly by adding in an edge here. So now I'll see I have two degree 3 vertices in the left graph, and two degree 3 vertices in the right graph. And you can double check the rest, the degrees of the rest of the vertices will be the same. However, these are still not isomorphic. So the idea here is to realize that this degree 3 vertex and this degree 3 vertex in the left graph are adjacent. However, in the right graph, they're not. There is no edge between A and F, and therefore I could not map these together. So just because all of the degrees are the same does not mean they're necessarily isomorphic. I would still have to find a map, and that may or may not exist.